In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the limit of a function that consists of polynomials and verticals at a point. Um, so when uh, you see a problem like this or any limit, uh, the first uh, intention is always to plug in the target value into the function and see what happens. So let's replace x with 2. And we immediately notice that denominator is equal to zero. Uh, so that means that function is discontinuous at this point. Uh, but we know there are many different types of discontinuities. So it's all about now what happens in the, what happens in the numerator. In the numerator, we also get zero because square root of nine is three, and three minus three is zero. So when you have zero over zero, that's one of the uh, forms which we uh, don't know the answer right away uh, but this suggests that we could possibly have a removable discontinuity uh, which means that your function has a factor of x minus 2 somewhere in the numerator as well so we don't see a factor of x minus 2 in the numerator because the numerator is this uh, vertical expression. But if we multiply both sides of this fraction, so the numerator and denominator, by the conjugate of this vertical expression, then we may change the type of the expression in the numerator and hopefully see that uh, invisible factor x minus 2. So let's simplify the numerator and the numerator now becomes 5 plus 2x minus 3 squared all that divided by x minus 2 times square root 5 plus 2x uh, plus 3 uh, let's simplify the numerator 5 plus 2x minus 9 And we're almost there. Uh, 5 plus 2x minus 9 is uh, 2x minus 4. And I can factor out 2. And now we see that factor x minus 2 in the numerator that we couldn't see earlier. So we reduce the fraction. And... What's left, we treat as a new uh, function, and finding this limit of a new function uh, requires us to check again if anything interesting is going on at 2. Uh, so plug in 2, and what do we have here? So we have square root of 9 plus 3. So what happened is that we don't have an issue now with this uh, function at 2. So the answer is 1 third.